I don't think that he's referring to elected people in in in, in America. But I'm I also literally reading his quotes. I'm literally reading his quotes to you, and I played them earlier so you could hear that they were not made up by me. He's literally talking about quote radical left lunatics, and then one of those lunatics he addressed he, he mentioned was Congressman Adam Schiff. Every criminals should be locked up. Migrants who are in this country illegally, who are violent, should be locked up and deported. I grant you all of that, and I am not denying that it's happening at all. So I Jake, am talking so about, Jake, Don, would, but I'm talking about Donald Trump saying I, that he wants to use the National Guard in the military to go after the left. That's what he's saying. I, I don't, I, I don't believe that's what he's saying. But listen, you and I are going to argue I, about that. But I would, I would suggest if you would I also played the quote and I read if, it to you. If well, you would also I mean, you balance, you can wish that. that he weren't saying that, but that's what he's saying. Look, I think that Jake Tapper is being very rude there to Glenn Youngkin because Glenn Youngkin agreed to come on his show. And the segment he's supposed to do is uh, Trump has said an irredeemable thing, and the right wing surrogate gets to distract and not admit that that's something that should deeply worry every American who cares at all about the future of our country. And Jake Tapper is not letting him do that. And honestly, what the hell, Jake? Come on, you're supposed to be a professional at this. You're supposed to let him deflect, okay? You're not supposed to bring the quotes. You're supposed to say uh, he said he would go after his political enemies, vaguely. And then Glenn Youngkin says, well, I didn't hear what he said. And then Jake Tapper is supposed to be like, ah, then I can't get you. That's how it's supposed to go. When you play the tape and you bring the quotes, then you make that hard. You make Glenn Youngkin look like a doof. And that's really rude of you, Jake Tapper. But anyway, uh, jokes aside, Jake Tapper's right. Donald Trump has been talking constantly about deploying the National Guard and yes, in fact, the military against insert a group of people that he wants you to not like. And uh, I could play the tapes for you, but actually I believe it was just yesterday, Kamala Harris actually played the tapes, take a look. Listen to his words. He tells us who he is. And he tells us what he would do if he is elected president. So here tonight, I will show you one example of Donald Trump's worldview and intentions. Please roll the clip. The worst people are the enemies from within. The enemy from within. Those people are more dangerous, the enemy from within, than Russia and China. These people are, should be put in jail the way they talk about our judges and our justices. Now, if you had one really violent day, one rough hour, and I mean real rough. I think the bigger problem are the people from within. We have some very bad people. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. And I think they're the, and, and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard or if really necessary by the military. I mean, that's what he said. And he said it, and he said it, and he said it, and he said it. This is not like, oh, three years later, we have a quote from a general who's like, he said this thing, trust me, or whatever, which I still think we should listen to. But he's, he's going on to Fox News to say, there's radical left lunatics, the media will handle it. And you know, the cops will use one hour of brutality and we'll do like he just keeps saying it over and over again. Okay. There's that famous book, like uh it, 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 it can happen here. You know, and people always like ask, how did countries descend into totalitarian forms of government, like fascistic forms of government? And it's complicated how it happens. But what, and I don't have the answer necessarily, although I did study it when I was in graduate school. What I will say is, if it happens here, we were warned. It's not like it'll happen accidentally. It's not like you'll go to sleep and then you'll wake up and, oh no, we're in a dark place. No, he kept telling us, he kept telling us. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't seem to have a problem with it. A lot of people love the idea that the military, will be cruising down American cities boulevards, rounding up the people they disagree with. He keeps it, they should be locked up for criticizing judges. Free speech radical Donald Trump, I will lock you up if you say mean things about Brett Kavanaugh. Okay, well then I'm doomed because I've talked about all of the rape allegations against him and I will continue to do so. But there's a lot of people that like that stuff. They wanna see 
uh, migrants being rounded up and deported. Bare minimum, that's what they'd like to see happen to the migrants, let alone to the criminals. And uh, no, if you're if you're a protester or something, you think that you can protest? You're protesting a war that I like? No, no, no. That's not what the Constitution is about. You're supposed to protest like if the deep state does a war, but not a war that I like. And so they love this stuff. Okay, and Harris is doing, I think, a good job of trying to get people to pay attention to this. She's not alone. We also have Tim Walz. But here's the thing about this. It would be funny if it wasn't so dangerous. Yesterday, he went on Fox News. That's a safe place for him. He went on there, and he suggested that he is going to send the military against the enemy from within. Now, I want you to think about it. In other words, Americans who don't support him, just to be clear, if any of your neighbors or friends or anybody thinks about that, you know who he's talking about? He's talking about you. He's talking about you. He's talking about someone who comes to a rally to express their love and their commitment to our democracy. Donald Trump sees that as an enemy. All right. So I have to tell you, as someone who wore this nation's uniform proudly, as someone who now is the commander and chief of the Minnesota National Guard, the idea of sending U.S. military personnel against American citizens makes me sick to my stomach. I'll tell you what, we'll let the lawyers decide if what he said was treason, but what I know is it's a call for violence, plain and simple. And it's pretty damn un-American, if you ask me. So look, if anybody wants to pretend that this is a normal conversation that Donald Trump is having, just dispel that. The former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, said, no one has ever been more dangerous to this country than Donald Trump, and he is a fascist to his core. <laughs> Let that sink in, and don't be a damn bit afraid of saying it, because that's exactly who he is. That's exactly who he is. But here's the thing. Here's the good news. We get to do something about it. If you're like me, I am sick and tired of this guy, ready to turn the page on him. And we can do that by making Kamala Harris the president of the United States. Sign me up as agreeing with literally everything that he said. I, I love what he said. I love the way that he said it. I think it makes a ton of sense. I think he's a guy that spent a quarter of a century serving in our military against Donald Trump, a guy who invented bone spurs. It's like literally the last medical detail we got about Donald Trump was his supposed bone spurs uh, so that he wouldn't have to serve because he didn't want to, because he thinks that soldiers are suckers and losers. And he would never serve. He doesn't want any of his children to serve. He doesn't give a damn about the military, but my base likes it when I talk about sending troops against people they disagree with. So I guess I'll do that. And so, um, you know, between the two, I'm going to side with Tim Walls.